So for the two of you, obviously the movie makes references to the Frazier Ali fight. When you finally had your scenes together, was it like going up against a championship fighter? Did it make you step up your game a little bit? <laughs> you know, I like to think, first of all, you're not doing your job if you have to step up for a particular scene. You should you, you should be we're professionals and we come to do a job every day, not on not on a particular day. Mr. So there. Well there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's also, it's, it's actually, you know what it is? It's not about a heavyweight fight. What it is, is much more like two guitarists playing together, mm. or two people singing together. It's like that. It's not a matter of, of fighting. If you're, yeah. if you're going to have that much defense, and you know, mm. you're going to be throwing tricky punches and stuff like that, you're not going to be achieving what you can achieve. If you can blend, if you can harmonize, and you can sing together still from you know, two completely separate points of view, now you're talking. Go, go ahead, Russ. That was deep. <laughs> that was so deep. You can harmonize. It's you all can good. <laughs> and sing together. It's all good. Then you have <laughs> beautiful music. No, but it's true, though. It is, I mean, it is true. It, it, is, it is a dance. It's, it's complementary. For you all, did you see a big difference between Frank Lucas and some of our CEOs here in America? I mean, is there really a big difference? Some of them got more time. <laughs> well, he nailed it on the, the head yesterday because they're talking in terms of, uh, you know, uh, what's the modern day gangster? And we're in a press conference and he says, well, they get elected. They get these elected days. now. Okay, filming in Harlem. I know, you know, your old stomping ground, you know it pretty well. But I read that you had a hard time in those tight jeans and hot heat running around. Yeah, that was in Coney Island. We were doing that scene in the projects building. We had to, I had to run about 72 flights of stairs. But, you know, it was about 16 blokes doing that, and I think six or seven of them vomited. So, you know, <laughs> at least I didn't get to that that bad. But, uh, yeah, I actually um, changed out from the 1970s Levi's into the ones that were made just a little while a little ago. Little stretchers. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, Oscar winners. Do you get excited at all when people start making Oscar buzz about your films? <laughs> you, you, you know, we don't even, I, I, we don't even hear about it until you sit down and do interviews. It's not like walking, first of all, film hasn't even come out yet. Let, let the film come out and let the public, you know, decide how they feel about it. And as Russell was saying earlier, you know, it, 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 we both find it interesting that uh, a great filmmaker like Ridley Scott hasn't been recognized over these many years with all the brilliant films he's done. That's your man, so you're like... That's, that's the governor. Who's the governor? The governor. Right, governor. governor. What should Hello, we do gov. today then, gov? All right. right. Oh, we're we going to do that? Yes, oh, that's going to be difficult. But no, yes, sir. Right, huh? Bob's your uncle. Right, guys, my three minutes is up, but I appreciate it. Thank you Cheers. both so much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.